the United States had more tornado reports in March 2022 than any other March on record. That's according to preliminary records released by the National Weather Service. There were 270 tornado touchdowns, more than double the average, and numbers may yet climb as surveys are completed. Three main events made up the bulk of the reports, one in early March and two towards the end of the month. The episodes were intense, especially for so early in the year. The back-to-back -back late month outbreaks of 75 tornadoes, particularly notable considering the entirety of March is about 80 tornadoes on average. The March tally is expected to compare to numbers more like April and June, our peak tornado months in the South. Now the weather setup that led to these outbreaks was prime. High temperatures and abundant humidity led to the instability and then wind shear, the rotating winds, gave thunderstorms the spin they needed to turn into twisters. How much of the episodes were connected to climate change is presently unknown. The connection between tornadoes and climate change is not as clear as other weather climate change connections. But new research is indicating that climate change has a large impact on when and where severe weather events occur. And that means earlier starts and more tornadoes in the typically quieter winter seasons. The elevated March tornado activity this year may be a sign of what's to come, especially across the south. Studies analyzing tornado trends have found spring numbers increasing in the U.S. south while decreasing in the plains. At the same time, the south is becoming more vulnerable to twisters because of population and development trends. So while March produced fatal tornadoes, the situation could have been much worse. Radar and forecast technology in the past 15 years has made it easier to detect and ultimately warn people. We knew all of these outbreaks were coming days, if not almost week in advance. And now you're Science Smart. If you have a science question on your mind, send me a tweet. I'll try to get it answered.